Stingrays are a staple along our shores, but do you know just how many there are? Researchers say Southern California is the stingray capital of the world. Thanks for joining us here on ABC7 Hulu and wherever you stream, I'm Ellen Leva. And I'm David Ono. So why are the creatures coming to our shore in record numbers? Researchers are studying that right now. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter joining us now with what they're learning. Leanne? Ellen and David, there are hundreds of thousands of stingrays along our shore. Add in millions of beachgoers and it can make for a potentially dangerous combination. And as temperatures warm up, so does the risk of running into a ray. On the hunt for one of Southern California's most prolific sea creatures. All right, everybody on the deck. Here we go, here we go. Stingrays, tens of thousands of them along our shore. Some spots so thick you can't even see the sand. The stingray population is probably at an all time high. We are talking about stingray capital of the world here, and it's mainly round stingrays. So we have four species that are found in nearshore waters. Round stingrays are by far the most abundant, and they have the behavior that makes them most likely to be stepped on. Making them the most dangerous for those walking in and out of the water as rays are quick to react with their barbed tails. You can, you can actually feel it moving up your leg. It's like a burning pain that starts at the, the puncture site and just kind of works its way up. Researchers from the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach have been studying these copious creatures for more than two decades. They use a beach scene or net to pull in a sample of what is hidden beneath the waves. The team working in conjunction with Seal Beach, a notorious spot known as Ray Bay. We have more than 30,000 of them just right in this area at the San Gabriel River. The hall revealing just how abundant the round rays are. 200 stingrays in a matter of minutes. Their record, 800 rays pulled in in September prime stingray season. So they're way more abundant in the summertime. Uh, they love the warm water, so the warmer the water is, the more likely you are to encounter a stingray. Chris Lowe, head of the Shark Lab, says over the last 50 years, the stingray population has been skyrocketing, and with it, serious risk of being stung. We estimate that there could be as many as 10,000 stingray injuries in Southern California alone. That's probably the most anywhere in the country. Seal Beach lifeguards average over 500 incidents a year. If you think about it, 500 victims, that's more than one a day. To treat those victims, it's about, it's on average an hour per victim. So it's it's really, it's, it's staff intensive. Okay. This one's probably not as hot. Okay. This one's hotter. Hot water is the treatment as the heat breaks down the toxin released by the stingrays barbed, not the wives' tale of urinating on the wound. <laughs> For victims, it is welcome relief. It definitely gets worse as time goes on, not better. Um, the stinging kind of spreads out a little. That's a big barb. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Ready. The team uses pliers to pick up the rays and clippers to cut off their dangerous spines, saving the barbs for research. The spines are attached to a machine, a fake foot and high-speed cameras measuring the speed of the strike and when the rays will whip their tail. We took our fake zombie foot and we stepped on different regions of the ray. So we found out that they only really strike either uh, vertically or from the side or some other angle if you literally pin them down in the center of their body. If you pin them down right in the center in the mid region, they're most likely gonna strike about 85% of the time. The stingrays stay close to the beach, from the water's edge to the surf break. Lowe says the stingray shuffle is how you stay safe. So what is the stingray shuffle? Well, it's just that, shuffling your feet like this as you enter the water. When the rays are buried and you're shuffling your feet, your goal is to nudge them, not step on them. So if you nudge them, they'll skitter away. They're really sneaky. They're really well camouflaged and they're flat. That we call them the sea pancakes. So they stay at the bottom and they blend in with the sand. Back on the beach, the rays are collected and quickly measured. 16.5. Before being returned to the ocean. Lowe says several factors, including climate change and better water quality, have contributed to the record number of rays, but says the main reason has been because their prime predators had disappeared. The record return of the white shark may turn the tables. We suspect we're going to start to see a, a control of the stingray population and that the population may start to come back down to levels that make more sense if you have predators nearby. Some top beaches like Bolsa Chica and Huntington Beach are prime spots for people and rays. Labor Day weekend 2019, 500 people were injured by stingrays in Orange County. 
The more researchers learn, like warm, flat conditions makes the Stingray Shuffle mandatory, the more they can educate the public. The partnership between the Shark Lab and Seal Beach is key, sharing all of that information to ensure that everyone stays safe while enjoying the beach. The goal is that everybody gets to share the ocean, including the animals that live there. Coexistence, that really is the goal, and it is the key to staying safe. Now, summer is when the rays are most abundant, creating a carpet of those so-called sea pancakes. So remember the Stingray Shuffle. <laughs> Lee Han Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.